hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World, and welcome to a video which is going to be book review about a book series that I recently found out about, and a book book series that I really want to recommend to you. Um, I re read all of these rather quickly, really enjoyed them, and um, just need to tell you all about them. So, this series is called Sarah Gay Model Girl. And there's four books in the series. They're all from 1961 by Janie Scott. Janie Scott is a pen name um, and actually wrote, they actually wrote um, many books under many pen names for different types of books. So Janie Scott, I think, was just used for the Model Girl books. Um, but as I said, different sort of books with different sort of names, pen names and different titles and all those different things. Wrote a lot, a lot of books. So these are all from 1961 four book series they look really quite cool together they they do look very very 60s and i was after books that were vintage books on fashion so i recently read um susan scarlet and i read peter and paul and clothes pegs both of which are very much my bag they're very much on fashion they're from um i think 19 late 1930s 1940 i think peter and paul's 1940 um and I just, I just love them and I adored them and it left a little hole in my heart and I wanted to pick up some more before I went back to reread the Susan Scarlet. So I was after some and um, I was recommended these and I'm so glad that I was. So I went ahead and off, I think it was eBay I found this one on its own and then I was reading through it and I wasn't even at the end before I went back onto eBay to get the other three. Now someone was selling these three. I think I bought this one for just another eight pound, um, including postage and I got these for 12 for all three, which was an absolute bargain because these can go for some silly sort of prices. And I have to say they're in really, really good condition as well. So this is the first one, Model Girl, which I'll talk about mostly, uh, but I will give you kind of the brief plot of the other ones, but obviously I don't want to spoil anything for you in case you do want to go ahead and read it. So this series from the 1960s is about a um, teenage girl, she's like 17, 18, called Sarah Gay, who at the beginning of the book she's working as a secretary, um, which she doesn't enjoy, but she has won a beauty contest and obviously you win the beauty contest, very nice, you win a little trophy, and you win some money. And with the money, her parents are like, oh, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to put it in savings? Or, you know, what, what are you going to do with it? And she's like, well, I would quite like to go to a model school. And her parents are a bit reluctant about this. They're like, well, we've paid for you to go to secretary college and, and all this and to get, get a good career in that. Um, but that's not where Sarah Gay's heart is. She wants to model, she wants to be in the fashion industry. And her parents go, well, if you can pay for it out of this beauty contest money, then go ahead, you can do it, you have our consent. As long as you live with other people and you're not living alone in London and all this. And so she goes ahead and she applies to model school. To cut a long story short, she ends up getting a place in a very prestigious model school in London on a scholarship and she um, lives in dorms and uh, she learns how to become a model in the first book. She makes friends, she makes enemies. <laughs> it is wonderful. Um, so that is book number one. Book number two is Sarah Gay Model Girl in Monte Carlo. And in this we meet Sarah again and she's working for a designer, as models do, um, that you you meet them in the first book, but she's working for that designer. And we end up having a model kind of competition, a designer off. So it's um, one designer that Sarah works for versus another designer that she finds out her frenemy works for. Um, and it is such a good, funny book. In book three, Sarah Gay, model girl in New York, she goes to New York to become a uh, model in a department store in New York um, as part of this designer that she works for his new line and she is like the main model for it so that's what she does she gets involved in that but then she also gets involved in this family drama business and then book four Sarah Gay model girl in Mayfair so um it, it's the same sort of thing uh she's still working for the designer she's still got her photography friend um that we meet in book one two three four um 
and um, in this one, it's actually, there's a bit of a crime that happens <laughs> happens in this um, where she is throwing stuff back and forth to Paris. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of a mystery taking place and a crime taking place as well. And yeah, this is, this is bordering on Agatha Christie-esque. <laughs> um, so these books, are fun books. They're all from 1961, so very early 1960s. They're very, very kind of 60s in terms of language and use of language and language that perhaps we wouldn't use now, um, quite derogatory language that we wouldn't use now, but was acceptable at the time, um, certainly acceptable to be published at the time, shall we say. Um, uh, there's discussion of, of weight and things that come with the modelling career that you hope um, wouldn't go on nowadays, um, shall we say, um, in terms of your body and your measurements and things like that, um, as well as other derogatory language of um, that's used of the period 60 years ago. I mean, these books are over 60 years old now. These books were written for young adults of the 1960s. So I guess if you were probably born, what, mid to late 30s up to kind of early to mid 40s is that right to make you like between like the age of like 15 and 25 I guess um yeah it's it's kind of that sort of what well, I guess YA of the 1960s um the writing is so easy to read and it absolutely flows so wonderfully I remember I read this one and then I went pretty much to that one to that one to that one there was literally a day where I had finished one and I just picked the next one up and I read that one and I'd always finished it that day as well. You can certainly read them in the day. They're only like 200 or so pages long. Um, are they 200 pages long? No, they're under 200 pages long. And yeah, they're so easy to read, but they were just such fun and they're just so harmless. And I love books that centre around fashion and I just can't help it. And they were just, just wonderful. They were very much of their age. And I love books that kind of, literally time portal you um, into another period. And I just love that. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed these books and thought I'd recommend to you them because I know lots of you did really also enjoy the Susan Scarlet, Close Pegs and Peter and Paul. Um, and so why would recommend you these um, to go and pick up. So there you are, you have been told, here are some recommendations for you with the most amazing covers. I think they're so cool. Um, now, I do have a favor to ask of you. Do you, I'm back, do you have any recommendations for me based, I would like fiction and I would like them around fashion. Do you have any recommendations for me? Uh, vintage, pretty please, uh, preferably, but I do, I do like the modern rom-com as well. Um, but I just, I just love vintage books based on vintage fashion. I can't help it. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to reading your recommendations hopefully, in the comment section down below. Um, don't worry if you don't have a name, you can just talk about these books too. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, take care and I shall see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.